The SCAT-B, Scales of Cognitive Ability, for Traumatic Brain Injury is a standardized test developed for post-head injured patients by Brenda Adamovich and Jennifer Henderson. The SCAT-B was normed on 244 patients from 26 different areas in the United States and Canada in various types of facilities ranging in age from 15 to 88 years old. It was last published in 1992 and is distributed by ProEd. The SCAPI is divided into five scales. Each scale comprises of several different subtests called testlets. This test's administration time ranges from 10 to 45 minutes per scale, totaling up to two hours for the entire test. So the pros and cons of the tests are fairly short. The pros, um, the actual protocol for the test is organized well, so it's easy to follow along with. Um, the test allows you to be able to chart the patient's progress over time. It also um, can be used with patients who were high functioning um, prior to their accident, so you can really watch how they progress. Um, there's a severity score um, that you can figure out and that goes from severe to average normal. And the cons of the test is the last time it was revised was 1992, so it's fairly out of date. Um, in the actual stimulus book with the pictures, there's no tabs to separate categories, so it's hard to flip through. It's a bit culturally insensitive at times because it has a picture of a Christmas tree and a jack-o'-lantern and an American flag with fireworks, so it might not quite work with every um, race or ethnicity. Um, it also assumes general knowledge, which we found that wasn't very general, such as a Ferrari and a Cadillac knowing which of those was American made. Um, not everyone might know that. And then also it's not very easy to administer bedside because it does have um, stimulus cards and just things that make it a bit cumbersome. So the materials for this SCAPI are one record form, which includes the test directions, the stimulus book that has lots of stimulus pages in it, a cassette tape, and for this you'll need a cassette tape player, the manual, 61 stimulus cards with uh, different shapes on them and pictures, a pen or pencil and a piece of scratch paper and that's all. Scale 1 perception and discrimination 1 sound recognition 2 shape recognition 3 word recognition no distraction 4 word recognition with distraction 5 color discrimination 6 shape discrimination 7. Size discrimination. 8. Discrimination of color, shape, and size. 9. Discrimination of pictured objects. 10. Auditory discrimination with real words. And 11. Auditory discrimination with nonsense words. This is a circle. I will show you some more cards one at a time and tell me or gesture if the card is a circle. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Scale two, orientation. One, pre-morbid questions. Two, post-morbid questions. many words as you can that begin with the letter R, such as rope. Don't give proper nouns, such as the, ni the names of people, towns, or places. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. Rose, ride, r ribbon, ribbit, r rock, Right? Wrong. Scale 3. Organization. 1. Identifying pictured categories. 
2. Identifying pictured category members 3. Word associations, word categories 4. Sequencing objects, size 5. Sequencing words, alphabetical 6. Sequencing events, time of year 7. Sequencing events, pictured task steps and 8. Sequencing events, recall task steps Alright, I'm just going to ask you some questions. Very simple answers, alright? How old are you? Two. Okay. And what, do you know what year it is? Okay. Who is the president right now of the United States? Um, Barack Obama. Oh, okay. Um, where are we? In a hospital. Mm-hmm. And do you know what season it is? Winter. Okay. And what happened? How long ago were you injured? Yesterday. Okay. And what happened to you? I fell off my bike. Okay. And one more question. What city are we in now? Sacramento. Okay, good. Scale 4, recall. 1. Memory for graphic elements 2. Naming pictures, word retrieval 3. Immediate recall of word strings 4. Delayed recall of word strings 5. Cued recall of words 6. Cued recall of words in discourse 7. Word generation 8. Immediate recall of oral directions and 9. Recall of oral paragraphs show you some pictures in my little book, okay? And I want you to take a look at all these pictures on this page, and I want you to tell me which ones do not hold water. You can either point or tell me. It's got to be that one. This one here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. That one? Do you see any others? That one. That one? Okay. And any others on here? Nope. Just these two right here? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Scale 5, Reasoning 1. Figural Reasoning, Matrix Analogies 2. Convergent Thinking, Central Theme 3. Deductive Reasoning, Elimination 4. Inductive Reasoning, Opposites 5. Inductive Reasoning, Analogies 6. Divergent Thinking, Homographs 7. Divergent Thinking, Idioms 8. Divergent thinking proverbs. 9. Divergent thinking verbal absurdities. 10. Multiprocess reasoning task insight. And 11. Multiprocess reasoning analysis. I'm going to show you a group of pictures. One of the pictures is missing. Use the pictures that are there to decide what the missing picture looks like. Then find the missing picture among the possible choices at the bottom of the page. Ready? Okay. When scoring the SCAT B, all patient responses are recorded verbatim in the column headed Item Verbatim Responses, seen below. In N is recorded on all items and test lists to indicate no response. In N is also noted when a patient refuses to respond. To distinguish between the two, you should note on the record form whether the patient refused. A score of zero is used when the patient responds with, I don't know. On the record form, the correct responses are printed in blue whenever all choices are present. An asterisk is also noted to indicate correct responses. 
Once scoring is completed, you are ready to convert these raw scores on the scales into norm scores. These norms can be expressed as standard scores or percentile ranks. It should also be noted that all of the scales use the same score scale, a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. There are th four categories of composite scores. First, the lower functioning composites include the first three scales. Second, the higher functioning composite includes the two remaining scales. Third, the total composite of all five scales. And fourth, the severity score, used to describe ranges of performance from severe to average normal. The was normed on 244 patients from 26 different states in the United States and Canada in various types of facilities ranging from 15 to 88 years old. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, you're fired. <laughs> When scoring the SCAT B, all patient responses are recorded verbatim on the record form in the column headed item verbatim. Is that on there? <laughs> cool. When I say go, tell me as many words as you can that begin with the letter R. Uh, right. Oh, I'm zoomed in on your face. Okay, so. Ready? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's actually already recording right now. Oh. So we'll stop. Yeah. <laughs>